Hi, Cancers. Welcome to Germinate Tarot. You're still stuck with me for now, for April 2nd to the 15th, but Jeremy will be back and we will be in her new place, which is awesome. Um, I'm going rogue because I have been under the weather and I just got my voice back and I want to go with my comfortable old gypsy witches, which are my daily drivers, as I like to call them, and we're going to do just a five card. We'll get into tarot in a second, but... Um, this one, you know, I read these guys like a sentence. Um, it's like Lenormand just with extra cards. So, we are going with... Ooh, that's a threesy. Three's company, too. I feel like that wants to be off to the side. Let's clarify it. Let's get final situation. So let's do some flipping. So we have this wine thing keeps coming out for everybody. It's it's so funny. Okay, so central issue is um, this is the coffin and. It is, it's basically a change. It doesn't have to be catastrophic, but it's, it's a big one. It is, uh, it's really just closing down, um, something that's not working. It's, it's a loss of some kind. Um, but when you lose something, you make room for something else in your life. That's always the way I like to say it. Um, but you know, it's, they say it's averting evil, that this deck's a little dramatic. So I wouldn't, I wouldn't take it that far, but over here on this side of the matter, we have the child, children with the gentleman. And so this is either cancer, if it's a gentleman, or it's a, uh, you know, if cancer happens to be a female, it's somebody, you know, a gentleman coming towards them to start something, to do something, um, you know, and it's an, it's a good, innocent beginning. It's, you know, it's pure. There's not a lot of, uh, you know, underhandedness going on there. And that's good because with the dog, the wine and the bear, the dog is fidelity, friendship, um, loyalty, honesty. The wine is happiness, joy. Um, just be careful not to overindulge. You know, and whatever makes you feel good. It doesn't have to be alcohol. There's a lot of things that make you feel good that need to be done in moderation. <laughs> I would know. Um, then you have the bear, which is protection. So I think whoever this is in your sphere, uh, you know, or coming into it is, is good and loyal and fun and protects you. Um, or maybe you do this for them. You know, you're seen as like a, a good, solid person, which, you know, Cancer probably is. This side of the equation you have meeting, um, which is coming together. You know, they're shaking hands. It's agreement. It's, you know, which is interesting because then you have the, the uh, tower, which is also agreements, contracts of more of a formal corporate nature of like business and stuff. But it's still, you know, a coming together. There's the rose, which is, you know, it's strong. It's hardy. It's, uh, it's beautiful. So, you know, but it's also roses have good roots and that, you know, they're, like I said, they're hardy, they're healthy, you know, they, they weather each winter and come back each spring. Beautiful. Overall energy is the park, which is good. That is, um, new love. It's people coming to realizations, people coming out, socializing, and that's, that's positive. So what needs to maybe maybe cancer is like you know i i did my alone time with the coffin and that's the change maybe the change is you're getting out and about like i said it doesn't have to be like over evil no maybe you just you know felt like getting out of your sweatpants and and taking the time <laughs> to go out and be like all right it's worth it today and that's good you know maybe cancer is getting out of a a feeling of maybe depression or depression might be too strong of a word, but a funk, you know, maybe there's a 
funk that's getting lifted, and I want to find out about this. So let's talk about it. What is the coffin about here? Ooh, the moon. Okay, yeah, that's introspection. That's a lot of uh, thinking, um, you know, perception. You know, that's an awful lot of thinking, but it's also changing your mind. Also, you know, coming to figuring things out and the star that that's so funny. That's the card that flipped before that. I was like, no, I'm not going to take it. I'll flip it back. No, it, it wanted to be seen. So that's the star. So all this thinking and stuff is leading you to a much lighter, happier kind of vibe. I'm feeling good about this cancer. So we're going to go over here. I do want to find out about what this is going on. The book. This is knowledge. This is opening up. This is being book smart. Um, it's too many. That's just right. Like baby bear. Ring. Yes. With the lion. I think it's kind of going to be a surprise because the book is secrets. Secret knowledge. Maybe someone knows something you don't. And then there's the ring and it's like, what? Moi, and you're like, yes, oui. That's that's the extent of French I know. I'm sorry, uh, except for palm free, it's because mm, they're good. Love my French fries. So on this side of the equation, we have the clover. That's also good too. That's that's you know right place, right time. That's luck. That's you know ooh, hey you now now whip is considered an aggressive card, but for me. That's the sex attempt card. So somebody is uh, getting the what what. Or at least interested in cancer that way. Or maybe cancer has their eye on someone in that respect. And they're going to get it because the rider, the rider is coming in. That's messages. That's moving quickly. So when that, that does uh, take root, it's going to happen. Um, although you need to be aware, though. That that change, and then there's a message. Something's going to come up and kind of block that. Or maybe, you know, you don't just want it. Maybe you don't just want the one night stand. Maybe you don't just want the in out. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean it like that. But someone coming in, coming out, <laughs> and, you know, just in it for one night stand. But oh, it's passion. Oh, there's passion. I think maybe it's tempering that and having that, you know, that tower, like, kind of, I don't want to say, like, propriety, but being more structured about it and not this, like, willy-nilly um, vibe going on. I want to know about this park. You know what? This feels like too many, but these, yeah, these were the ones... That were it. Once again, the surprise, lightning. It's volatile. It's like, what? But I think on the other side of this lightning where it's kind of like the surprise portion is the lilies. It's, you know, letting things mature. It's growth. It's, you know, just a peaceful kind of time. And that's awesome. The safe Usually that's someone blocking stuff off. Um, maybe that's where, you know, the mountain is. Maybe you do want to keep this connection secure, you know, in, in a safe kind of way, literally, figuratively. Um, so I do want, what are we talking about safe-wise here? You, It's the shepherd. It's that taking time, being vigilant, not just pittering it away or being stupid about it it's it's a smart thing and I think it's going to kind of come out of left field because once you come out of this you know coffin time I hate to put it that way like a vampire like you're coming out um with the moon you put a lot of thought and time in once you you get out there boom bangity boom I think uh, it's going to be a good time now we're moving on to Deviant Moon Tarot, and this is just kind of like an overall summary. We have uh, 
Queen of Cups, Eight of Cups, Chariot. Oh, hi, get back here. Chariot's like, I'm out of here. <laughs> oh, cold medicine's awesome. Now, I want just one more to kind of give the overall situation or two. That makes sense. And then, okie dokie. I do want one more on the Knight of Swords. Ha, okay. Yes, so what is on the other side of this Knight of Swords? Yeah. Ta da! I'm sorry, I will explain myself. I just talk to myself. I sound like a crazy person when I'm home, believe me. <laughs> Everyone's like, she's singing or is she talking? What is she doing? There it is. Okay. So, Queen of Cups, Cancer. That is, you know, water sign. There you go. I, if this is not, you know, a woman, it's the qualities of, you know, a water sign, which is giving, maybe giving too much. Um, because then you have the Eight of Cups where there's still a lot of emotion, but you have to let it go. There, There's just too much. You need to lighten up and lighten the load because chariot you're back on the horse you're getting back out and out and about with the peoples because you got the strength card and that is um you know well strength you're coming out you're coming out strong you're coming out hard but there's still maybe this is where the safe in the mountain come in you have the you know nine of of swords which is an anxiety card which means a lot of thinking, um, a lot of worry, which might be unnecessary. And then you have the Page of Swords, which is, you know, air sign. It could be a young air sign, you know, immature attitude, um, not really committing to anything. It's also could be, you know, maybe this anxiety is coming out of you trolling someone's, you know, Facebook or you know, Instagram or, you know, someone's getting information on you. Not bad information, but just kind of keeping tabs. Maybe you need to stop keeping tabs because you, you left all that jazz with this Eight of Cups. You walked away from that. You coffined. You coffined already. And and you're coming back strong. And it's okay to go back for a second, but you don't, don't stay there. It's okay to go back and be like, huh, what's the new chick look like? No, I'm still better. Then you move on. So <laughs> then we have the eight of wands, which is messages. But see, here's the thing about this card. So it, it, people are like, it's messages of love. Da, da, da. Does she look like she's loving it? She has got a giant scythe and she is ready to just chop these wands down. Oh, see, I can't even keep it in, the, in my hand. She's ready to chop these wands down. And start over. And this crow's up here trying to bang her a letter. And she's having none of it. Which is good. So then this knight of swords. This page of swords. Knight of swords. It, air sign. This is an in out non-committal energy. If it's not an air sign. And you know maybe this is what's throwing you off your game. Coffin person came back. They resurrected. They vampired. And uh, they're back to suck your energy. <laughs> And just drain you <laughs> because there's death and you know coffin death remember you have to let things die because what's on the other side of that ten of cups look at that and you have all that going on over here over here you know this like little dude with his wands like ding, 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 you know like all happy there, there's this weird looking baby who's happy this is a good solid stable you know friend family relationship stuff this is good i think whatever was your coffin moment you know don't go back to it because you're charioting and your strength and you're strong don't get stuck back here with the thinking with the air sign business or the energy that is not positive because it's not good enough for you i hate to put it that way but it's it's, it's not doing you any favors. So 
don't be afraid of that cough and don't be afraid of this weird horse head death thing. It's okay because the other side of that is all this good stuff. So we're going to romance Angel it and see what they have to say about the situation. Oh, hey. That was quick. We have... Hmm. Worth waiting for. Reconciliation. Keep an open mind. So worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life. Which, you know, could be this Lily's business back here. Um, you know, reconciliation. From the tarot, you know, I think if you do let this person back in, whoever it may be, even if you are keeping an open mind, um, this is why I'm, you know, I'm not 100% sold on this deck because I'm like, it's too simple because there's other, from the tarot, stuff happened. Um, it's not just like, oh, look, they're lovey-dovey. No, there, there's some, there's some work that's going to go into this reconciliation. This is an easy peasy lemon squeezy. Um, I think you are worth waiting for. I'm not sure about them, but you know, keep an open mind, go into it, see what happens. You know, uh, your soul may, may differ from your usual type and expectations. Just make sure, you know, you don't confuse soulmate being different for settling for someone who's, uh, might be a jerky pants. Um, okay. Love yourself first. Thank you for hearing me romance angels uh your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive i'm just saying that's always my thing is you know you might be looking for love in all the wrong places <laughs> but you know 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 what you're worth that's my big thing so now we're moving on to the crystal deck which is going to replace the vintage wisdom oracle for now and that is a deck of stones and crystals and stuff. And um, they have good keywords that are nice things to think of for your cosmic pep talk. And if you carry a juju bag or anything, it might be nice to have these with you, you know, to up your energy and your vibe. I know I carry stones in god-awful places sometimes. <laughs> Why are you lumpy? <laughs> it's just quartz in my bra. Don't mind me. So we have... Oh, these are good. I love these. So we have topaz and amber. Opal. And hematite. Which are, you know, I have my little hematite over here. Topaz is self-realization, tranquility, inspiration. Amber is grounding, healing, cleansing, balancing. Opal is magnifying emotional uh, and prophecy. And then we have with hematite, originality, inner confidence, and protection. So I just see an evolution of coming into some really good power. And that orange is such a good vibrant energy. Um, they have these nice divinatory meanings of, you know, what where topaz comes from, blah, 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 um, how it works in healing. And then the divinatory meaning I like to read is... Um, it symboli uh, symbolizes the path ahead is becoming clearer and full of joy and peace. So you need to stay focused on that. And this is uh, the need to balance your life and healing and looking to the past to shine the light on the future. And then we have this one, focus on love and emotions. Are you honoring yourself, seeing clearly, and listening to your heart? Just saying. Um, then we have for the hematite. It's drawing this card indicates it's time to draw on your inner will to move forward. Take responsibility for your existence and work towards a state of grace. That is something to hit home with. All right, Cancer. Like I said, Jarm will be back. We'll be back together. You know, we're bringing the band back together. It'll be a good time. And um, we hope you'll join us then. So until then, Cancer, be well. We'll talk to you later.